Hong Kong is a city of profound contradictions that have made it one of the most unique and fascinating cities in the world. It is a city where East meets West and the super modern metropolis intertwines with tradition. Join us in this video as we take a look at the 15 best things to do and not to do in Hong Kong, Asia, a travel vlog. Welcome to Hotels and Cities, the channel that focuses on great places to visit and worthwhile travel destinations for you and your loved ones. Before we jump into our list, don't forget to click that subscribe button and that bell icon to always be updated on all things travel. Now let's get into it. First up, Victoria Peak. This is the highest peak in Hong Kong and offers a stunning panorama of the city. The peak can be reached via a funicular. There are two points of interest at the top, the Peak Tower and the Lion Kiosk, both offering amazing views of the city. Temple Street Night Market Located on the Kowloon Peninsula, the night market along Temple Road is a glimpse into authentic old Hong Kong. Here, merchants of all kinds gather and there are numerous fortune tellers who contribute to making the atmosphere mystical and evocative. A Symphony of Lights This is the largest permanent light and sound show in the world and takes place on the Avenue of Stars. It is called a Symphony of Lights and is a real luminous concert that lights up the entire city of Hong Kong. Tian Buddha and Lantau Island The imposing effigy of Buddha overlooks Nong Ping on Lantau Island, the largest and wildest island in Hong Kong. The statue of Buddha a Megosity, built in 1993 and located inside the Poland Monastery, is actually a 34-meter high mausoleum and can be reached only after climbing a staircase of 268 steps. Sky 100 Hong Kong Observation Deck Located in the ICC, the tallest building in the city, the platform is at the 100th floor and it offers a wonderful 360-degree view of Hong Kong. To go up, Visitors need to take a high-speed lift, which covers the distance from the ground floor to the Honda floor in just one minute. Ocean Park Hong Kong is one of the world's capitals of entertainment, thanks to its large water amusement park where you can drive a bumper car and admire local fauna species from fish to the famous pandas. The park is divided into two macro areas, the waterfront and the summit. Central District the financial heart of Hong Kong is called the Central District and is located in the northwestern part of the island. Here, visitors can find skyscrapers, luxurious shops, and several important buildings, such as those that house various consulates as well as the government. Wan Kwai Fong This is the busiest district in Hong Kong, the one completely dedicated to nightlife. Visitors can find plenty of bars, restaurants, and nightclubs to enjoy a great night out. The Central Mid-Levels Escalator, a tourist attraction in Hong Kong, located just a few hundred meters from the stop that leads to Victoria Peak, is the Central Mid-Levels Escalator, the longest escalator in the world. It runs from about 800 meters and can be accessed from every road it crosses. Built in 1994 to allow a particular tour of the city of Hong Kong, this escalator connects the Central District with the Western District and has rightfully become one of the main attractions of the city. It is a destination for millions of tourists who enjoy a very special 25-minute free ride through the whole city, an unusual way to tour without getting tired. The Central Mid-Levels Escalator was built as a response to the growing needs of the people of Hong Kong. The city was growing and with it the demand for more efficient and faster ways of transportation. The escalator was designed to help the people of Hong Kong move around the city more quickly and comfortably, and it has achieved that goal. Sim Cha Tsui Waterfront and Avenue of Stars The Sim Cha Tsui Waterfront, also known as the Central Harbor Front, is an incredible place in Hong Kong Bay. Here, it seems to live at a different pace than in the central district of the city. The large and modern shopping centers flank the port where the ferries come and go, and together they frame the imposing colonial clock tower, which projects you into another time. Furthermore, it is a perfect vantage point to admire the financial districts of Hong Kong and Kowloon, as well as the best spot to stop and enjoy the symphony of light show. Another attraction worth visiting is the Hong Kong Museum of History. The museum is the perfect place to learn about the entire history of the city, from prehistoric times to the present day. 
The museum houses the permanent exhibition and various temporary exhibitions. Lava Island is another place that is worth exploring. Hong Kong's Green Lung as well as the city's third largest island, the island of Lama, with its characteristic Chinese Y shape, makes ecology and an easy lifestyle its forte. People move on foot and the only means of transport contemplated is to bicycle. It is a whole other world that is worth exploring, especially by nature lovers who will be able to find numerous hiking trails on this island. But the island of Lama is also a genuine and somewhat naive island, so much so that it's even called the island of creatives due to its bohemian atmosphere, accentuated by small craft shops and independent boutiques. The island is free and always accessible, and to reach it, you need to take the ferry from Central Pier 4 to Yongshui 1. Hong Kong Disneyland Disneyland Hong Kong is the Asian version of the famous Disneyland Paris, but it is not a mere copy. Being owned by the Chinese headquarters, it is almost identical in all aspects to its French parent company. It was inaugurated in 2005, marking the fifth opening worldwide. Its park is also divided into seven themed areas. However, in terms of area and the number of attractions, Disneyland Hong Kong is smaller than its European cousin. Nonetheless, it features Main Street USA, Fantasyland, Adventureland, Tomorrowland, Grizzly Gulch, Mystic Point, and Toy Story Land. Its unique section is It's a Small World, an attraction that allows visitors to virtually travel across different continents while admiring puppets in traditional clothes, singing, and dancing. Hong Kong UNESCO Global Geopark while we often imagine Hong Kong as a modern-day metropolis with skyscrapers and markets, it is also home to a breathtaking natural area, dedicated to geology and landscape enthusiasts. The Hong Kong UNESCO Global Geopark is located about an hour away from the center and contains a series of truly unique attractions. Visitors can admire a range of geological wonders from hexagonal columns of volcanic rock and mangrove forests to coral communities and ancient temples. Moreover, several fishing villages can be reached by renting boats or boarding ferries. For those seeking relaxation, it's possible to rent a kayak from Shaha Beach and paddle towards one of the many beaches on Shark Island. Macau Macau is the world's capital of gambling, not only in Asia but worldwide. It stands out for its peculiar urban architecture with a clear Portuguese reference, as it was a former colony of Portugal. It also features a gastronomy completely different from that of Hong Kong and a tropical climate influenced by monsoons. Macau is only an hour away by ferry from Hong Kong and its extended opening hours from early morning to late evening make it an excellent option for a day trip. Visitors can explore many of the city's attractions including the Barra Square Lighthouse located next to a fortress and the Senate Square, also in Portuguese style. For a panoramic view of Macau, visitors can climb the Macau Tower, 338 meters high, with its 56 floors, housing bars, restaurants, and other businesses. Warnings Hong Kong offers a myriad of things to do, but here are some things to avoid during your holiday. Do not ride the peak tram. First opened in 1888, it was Asia's first funicular. With many attractions, long lines are a problem, so it's best to avoid wasting a whole day waiting in line. Avoid going up to visit the bronze statue of the Big Buddha as it can take up a lot of your time, and you may not be able to see it once you get there. Don't spend all your time visiting Hong Kong Island. While it's full of fun, it only shows one side of Hong Kong. Avoid taking a taxi during rush hour as you risk being stuck in traffic. Before we end today's video, make sure to scroll down to the description below to check out fantastic deals and discounts on travel and accommodations for your next getaway, as well as essential travel gadgets that you shouldn't be without. That's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, click that like button and share this with your fellow travel buddies. If you want to be always updated whenever we have a new video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to always be in the loop whenever we have new content. Thanks for watching and safe travels.